Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So this is going to be what is in my baby's hospital bag. So if you want to see what I have packed for the big day, then keep watching. So two things before I start this video, apologies for the state of my voice, I have a really really sore throat and a cold at the moment, damn you pregnancy for not letting me be able to take anything and secondly if you are new to my channel, my name is Charlotte, I am now 30 just and I am expecting my third baby, a little boy, he was due on the 13th of March 2018 so I'm going to get right into what I have packed and show you what I am taking third time around and how I organise everything. So so I'm going to start with our changing bag and I have gone for the Skip Harp Greenwich changing bag. It's a backpack. I bought this from John Lewis and I think it was around £99. I decided to spend my birthday money on it because what else do you buy when you're pregnant really and you turn 30? <laughs> so I picked this and I have to say your first impressions are that I absolutely love it. Now there's various different compartments. You've got one at the front here with like a, a slot for your phone for example. You've got a side pocket here, which I believe is meant for bottles when you're on the go. Then on the other side, you have a little pouch here to store things in. And then right at the very back is this pocket here, as you can see where the zip is. And there is a changing mat in there, and that's where I'm storing all of the nappies. So I'm going to go through and show you what I have packed. So I'm going to start with the main compartment and as you can see it is chocker block and really really full to the brim. Now I have probably packed I would say a little bit excessively. If I went off my past two births then I would probably not even be in hospital for that long but because I have a syndrome which could potentially mean that this baby boy is in NICU for a little while. I wanted to make sure I had some extras and I was prepared. So if you are a first time mum and you've never ever given birth before, this actually might be similar to what you would want to pack just in case because you don't really know what is going to happen, you don't know what to expect, you don't know if it's going to be a sort of natural birth vaginally or a c-section and things like that. So I've just come prepared basically. So I'm just going to take a few things out and then I'll show you what I've packed. So the first two things I've got are actually blankets and I have one cellular blanket here from Mama Designs which is a lovely grey and aqua. This also comes in grey and yellow I think and grey in like a coral pink so if you're expecting a little girly or you don't know what gender you're having then there are different options if you're interested. And I just thought this would be really really good for wrapping him up with and keeping him warm while he's say in a cot next to my bed depending on how long we stay for and it does fold up relatively small so I thought I pack that and then I'm also taking this gorgeous John Lewis pram blanket because it's really really super soft and I thought this could go over the car seat when we bring him home to keep him nice and toasty and warm and you know it's quite a decent size so you could always lay this out and take a photo of baby and share it with your friends and family if you wanted to and I just wanted to take a couple because you know labour and birth can be messy and if I've only got one and then it gets dirty for whatever reason it's nice to have a backup. Now next up is this little guy and I've actually bought a jelly cat stuffed toy for all of my babies when they were born. Daisy and Bill have actually rejected theirs <laughs> which you still have them but they are not the stuffed toy but maybe just maybe this little boy will fall in love with this lion um i just saw the lion and lions are meant to be brave and you know fierce and strong and i just thought it would be a nice comfort if he is in nikki to have this beside him in like his incubator or just you know as a little friend if he does come home as well so i brought that because it's really nice to have like that there if you take any photos of them and i just wanted to show him that he was loved right from the get go. Now next up are outfits and what I have done here is actually package them off into sandwich bags and I've labelled them because I think this makes it really really easy especially for your other half because let's face it most of us females at least tend to pack our own hospital bags and the baby's hospital bags and I don't want to say to Mark right can you just grab this 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 and that and he has no clue where I packed it what it looks like or anything like that so, so what I've done is I've put them all into sandwich bags and in every sandwich bag it's clearly labelled with what it is and there is a vest a sleep suit and a little hat to keep baby's head warm and they're all organised and they all match and they're all the same size I know what to expect with the size of my babies now so I tend to put my baby straight into up to one month because newborn seems to be a little bit tight on them and tiny baby definitely wouldn't fit. So that is what I have gone for. If you are perhaps a first time mum and you don't know what size to expect, it might be worthwhile labelling them with like 
a newborn size and up to one month size maybe even not to three if you you were expecting a bigger baby and then you can say to your other half right he is or she is really big so pick this size instead but not only are they really organized like this but they actually stay nice and clean as well and safe and if you do end up taking them home because you're not in for very long then they're not mucky or dirty or exposed to like the hospital environment which can obviously have germs around sometimes can't it so the first outfit that i have gone for is this one and obviously i've just got a plain white vest with this but this is probably my favorite favorite sleep suit and i haven't quite decided yet what i'm going to put them in first but this is definitely a contender this is a leopard um sleep suit from john lewis and there is a little white short sleeve vest with that and then i also have a little like green and white striped hat and the green kind of ties in with the plants on the baby grow so that's the first outfit then the next one is this white one i have a white vest and a white hat to go with this one and it is this born in 2018 stalk sleep suit which i picked up from i think this was marks and spencers or john lewis but i will leave everything linked down below and i just thought that this was really really cute and obviously it's nice to get one that marks the year that they were born so again that's another contender for the first outfit and then this next outfit is kind of a spare if we're in for a few days for whatever reason and it comes with a little hat which has bare ears on it and it's navy and white striped and matches this gorgeous little sleep suit as well that comes from next and then again I have another white vest to go with that now I have to be really really careful not to show you this one too much but I also have a little vest that has baby boy's name on it and I thought if we were there for a while and waiting to be sort of checked out and sent home I could take a little photo and introduce him to the world with his name as well so I have that there. I'm not going to show what the name is but I will link where I got this vest from if you are curious because I think it's a really nice way to sort of introduce the world to your baby. Now I know a lot of people don't choose to go for a going home outfit especially when they've had like this many babies and it kind of wears off a little bit but for me it's really really important because if you followed me for any length of time you'll know that my second baby my little girl Daisy actually spent six unexpected weeks in NICU she wasn't premature but she actually had a syndrome that I was born with as well and I had the most gorgeous floral sleep suit picked out for her to come home in and I was absolutely broken hearted when I found that you know she was spending so much time in there I actually managed to squeeze her into it and bring her home in it and it meant so much to me, I'm getting upset, that I really, really wanted to have an outfit this time around to sort of signify when this baby boy comes home. It might be the day he's born, it might be the day after, it could be, you know, two weeks, four weeks, six weeks down the line, I don't know, but it's a really, really big deal for me and... The first thing that I packed is this little hat and I actually bought this when I was pregnant with Daisy and I didn't know the gender yet and I thought I'm going to bring my baby home in this little hat. By the time she did come home it was too warm because she came home in June to wear it and it was probably a little bit small by that point. So I packed it this time in the hope that this baby boy will be the one that wears it home. Then by a very very sort of lovely twist of fate I actually found this sleep suit on the Baby Gap website. I don't typically buy Baby Gap for newborns because that's quite expensive but it is a little um long sleeved vest and it says i am home and then in brackets sweet home and the bear is the o of home and i saw this and i just thought this will be so so special when he does come home to sort of see him wearing that so whenever it is this is kind of just like a motivational thing for me then to go with that i have some footed leggings so he can i can just pull these on really easily and they are from h and m and they are one to two months i believe and then to keep him toasty is this gorgeous little knitted um jacket really and i think this is from john lewis and it's gray and has little berries and will keep him nice and toasty so whenever he comes home he's gonna look really really cute when he does <laughs> so that is everything that's in the main section of the bag so now i'm going to go into what's inside this front zip pocket here so in here all I have are some muslins, these are from Primark and I have a pale blue one and a white one with blue stars on it and then I have this gorgeous sort of space themed swaddle as well which would be a nice background to take a photo of your baby on and also to swaddle them and keep them nice and secure and happy so I have those there just because they're easy to grab and go when baby maybe spits up and things like that and I think that that will be plenty. So now I'm going to show you what's in this zipper ball pocket at the back of the bag and this is where 
the changing mat is, which I'm going to take with me because I think it'll be handy if I'm changing his nappy on the bed and things like that. And what I have in here are just a pack of Asda Little Angels in Newborn. This is a pack of 24, which I think is a really, really handy size. And I've just kept them all in there for now because I feel like it's going to be easier, to be honest, just to keep them in there. And then as well as that, I have a packet of water wipes. I use these with Daisy. I actually use cotton wool and water with Bill because that was nearly six years ago now and I hated it because there was just with meconium the first poo you just get poo everywhere and they're really difficult to use because that first poo is very very sticky. These are a dream, they are 99.9% .9 water with a drop of fruit extract. They are midwife approved here in the UK as far as I know and I had no problems using them last time and they were happy to use them in NICU as well so I have a pack of those and there's quite a lot in here and they're super super wet which is really handy for changing baby's bottom. And then finally it's just the last few things that are in this side pocket here and in here I have a little tube of bepanthin and it's nappy care ointment to be honest I highly doubt that I'll even need to use this if I stay on top of his nappies in those early weeks and things like that but I thought I would pack it anyway because if I don't use it in the hospital I'll definitely use it when I'm out and about using this as a changing bag and then as well as that I have a packet of nappy bags from Boots just because it's you know hygienic and I can pop all the nappies in here and pop them in a hospital bin and then again this can stay in the changing bag as I start to use it when baby boy is home and then finally is this mam dummy I actually received this for free in like a little pack I think it was from mother care I don't typically use dummies and I'm not like a massive fan but I thought I've got one it might be that it helps him so I thought I would pack it and apparently this one glows in the dark which is always useful I suppose so that is everything that I'm taking I may take a few extra bits just in case of NICU but again that is very very like typical to our situation not something that I would say you need to worry about at all I'm really really pleased with everything I've got the only other thing that we will obviously be taking is the car seat now we have the doona with a nice fixed base so that will all be in the car ready to go and we used this with Daisy and absolutely loved it so if you're in the market for a car seat I can definitely recommend that and hopefully this helps I will leave a link down below to everything that I've included so if you want to like print it out or refer to it or just have it to compare to then it's there and hopefully that helps you but yeah thank you so much for watching good luck if you're expecting a baby and packing your hospital bags and stay tuned for the next video which will also be what is in my hospital bag so if you want to know what I'm packing then make sure you hit the subscribe button or the little notification bell thingy and you will know when the video is live but yeah thank you so much for watching good luck and I'll see you next time bye